today for a really great and easy Latina dinner. I am making my chicken fajitas. So what we have here is we have two breasts. We're only making it for two people. But we're still going to use the same marinade because it's so good. So over here we have two cloves of garlic that we just chopped up just like this. And go ahead and put it into a big Ziploc bag because this is easy for cleanup. You just throw it away. You want to do a bowl? Go ahead. It doesn't matter. So we have our Ziploc right here. Go ahead and put our garlic in, just like this. I'm going to go ahead, this is McCormick fajita seasoning. This is what you use. This is the best stuff ever. I got turned on to this by a person I worked for, and she used to make it for us, and these are so good. So use this. One packet of this. We have one teaspoon or half teaspoon, excuse me, of some red pepper flakes, just to give it a little kick. Oop, there we go. Perfect. Put it all in the back. Now we have our chicken breast right here that we thawed out. So go ahead and take these out. This is a big one. You want to make sure you chop your garlic before you do your chicken, because you don't want to cross-contaminate all this yucky stuff. Let's go ahead and get our chicken breast right in here. You just want to cut off the fat. Save some calories so you can eat more fajitas. Just like that. You want to make sure you have a pretty sharp knife too. All right, now with our chicken breast, all you want to do is come in here just like this and make nice strips. I'll show you another one. About this thick. Just like that. I'm going to go ahead and make the strips. We're gonna, just going to put it in there with all the marinade and everything. Alright, so we just chop them up in nice thin strips. What we have here is just some apple cider vinegar. We're going to go ahead, we have one cup of that. Ooh, be careful. We're going to go ahead and pour it into our bag. Kind of mix the marinade all up. Just like that. Oh, it smells so good. So we're going to go ahead. We already washed our hands and everything. I'm going to go ahead and just put it on into our marinade. Just like this. This is the best meal. I promise you, you'll love this. Right. Go ahead and get all the air out. And just rub it around in there. Re refrigerate it. About 20 minutes before you're going to cook it, take it out. And I'll show you how to do that in a little bit. Alright, so we let this chicken marinade for... We made this this morning, so it's going to be nice and good for tonight. So what we have here is the biggest skill you can get. This thing is huge, but I'm doing it all in here. But if not, you can just do it in another pan. But I like this really big one. So we have our chicken. And it smells so good. Ah, it smells so good. So also we have some onions cut up here. I'll show you how to do it. I have one left over. I'm going to go ahead and make sure you don't get all the juice in there. I'm gonna go ahead and put all your chicken in here, leaving some of the juice in here. It's gonna start cooking up. Oh, and we already have our uh, our pan on high. We just put it on high. Whoop, if I can get it all in here. All right, so this is the last one in, and they're starting to sizzle. So let's go ahead. I'm just gonna save this because we need some a little bit of the juice. Go ahead and show you how to get our onions cut. And also we have one green pepper. I'm not a huge fan of peppers, but if you like more peppers than onions, do that. You can do whatever you want. It's really up to you. Just cut it in half just like that. We're going to go ahead. Just take it off just... I don't know if I can get it off. Just like that. Perfect. I'm going to get that off. And then I'm going to get... Whoops. That off if I can. <laughs> My fingers are slippery. So we're gonna go ahead and get all this off. And we're gonna slice it in thin little rings. Perfect. Finally. So now what we're gonna do is we're just gonna slice it just like that. One more. Alright, perfect. I'm gonna do this one too. Huh? 
It's sliced and pretty thin because um, I like my onions. I don't like them really crisp. I like mine almost kind of mushy, like cooked down. So that's what we're going to do here. And also we have two cloves of garlic that I just minced up. Well, now with this, I'm going to show you the easiest way to cut a green pepper. What you do is you want to cut off the top just like this. Cut off the bottom just like this. Now, you're going to roll. I learned this in culinary school, and I think this is just the greatest. Now, you're going to kind of roll it down just like this, and you're not going to waste any part of the pepper, which that's what I love. Kind of just like that. Whoop! Perfect! <laughs> I'm dropping everything. It's fine. We're just going to slice up the top. We have that. You can still use this. Don't lose anything. All right. Now with this, I'm just going to cut it. Nice strips, just like that. And it smells so good in here, by the way. All right. Take this off. A little bit of this. Perfect. Now slice this one up, too. Perfect. Let's see how our chicken's doing. Oh, they are starting to get cooked, so we're going to go ahead and flip them. Now, you don't want them too brown. That's not what we're trying to do here. We're just trying to cook them, because then we're going to add the onions to it. All that delicious flavor is going to be all over them. Mmm. Looks so good. I'm so excited for this meal. It's one of my favorites. This is a great way to spice up chicken. People always ask, like, What's good with chicken? Because the same thing always gets boring. This is a great recipe. All right, so now we're going to do that. I'm going to let this cook a little bit longer. My eyes are watering from the onions. It's okay. We're going to let this cook just a little tiny bit longer, and then we're going to add the onions on the side, just like this. Perfect. All right, so our chicken's being cooked. It's only been about a couple minutes. We're going to move it over on this side. I'm going to go ahead. Add the onions and the peppers and the garlic. God, it smells so good. All these are gonna cook in the delicious juices, make it even better. This is the easiest meal. And if you have a big enough pan, it can be like a one pot kind of thing. So that's also a bonus. Go ahead and put them all on there, and they're all gonna cook all nice together. The chicken, the, the chicken's not all the way cooked through, so. Perfect time to add them so they'll be done all at the same time. I'm just gonna add everything in here. Stir it up so get some of the juice on there and mmm. Looks so yummy. So we're gonna let this cook down for about five minutes and we're done. Chicken fajitas. Alright, Spence, so it's been about five to 10 minutes. We're gonna just add a little bit of salt. You don't need too much because the, uh, the fajita seasoning had a lot in it. So you have that and some garlic powder. Key to everything that tastes good. And some pepper, just like that. We're just gonna stir it on up. And then all you do, serve it with some tortillas and some sour cream, some salsa and some cheese. And people can put it together themselves. And there you go. Perfect, easy, amazing chicken tor chicken tortillas, <laughs> chicken fajitas.